Hi, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. Let's talk about a really good feature with a layer that you can add to your website for different effect and for very practical reasons, even better navigation. I'm going to show you something called a sticky layer. First, let me show you around this website. We've got a layer up here at the top we're using as a header. It's got some navigation in it. This website's designed with several layers. There's a layer right here with all of this stuff in it and more down here and then another one at the very bottom. Pretty simple website, nice looking and clean. So I'm going to click F5 so you can see what it looks like. Just what you would expect. As we scroll down, we can see the content all the way down to the bottom layer, which we're using as a footer. But I want to show you what happens with the use of sticky layers. So I'm closing this preview and we're going to create some sticky layers. I'm just going to do it with these existing ones. And so if we double click on this layer and bring up its properties, this is a very simple thing to do. All we're doing is we're changing the mode of this layer here from its regular default mode to one of these options called sticky layer. A sticky layer means this layer is going to stick to a particular position or orientation on the page no matter what the user does as far as scrolling down goes. So right now we've got this sticky layer set to stay at the top left with no offset and to delay for 500. In order to know what all of that means, you just have to watch it. So let's click OK. All we've done is we've turned this into a sticky layer. And now watch what happens when we click F5 and preview. You'll see something you may recognize that you've seen on other websites. As the user scrolls down the page, notice that our layer follows us. It's actually sticking to the top of the browser no matter where we go in depth. As we scroll down, we always have this sticky layer. This is a great tool to use if you want to keep some content in front of your audience. For example, navigation or, or an opportunity to purchase a product or log in or a call to action kind of a button. You can always keep that content in front of them using a sticky layer because it's going to follow no matter where they go. Now you'll notice there's a delay. As we scroll, it doesn't snap right away. It actually delays. Well, that's what that 500 was for. That's the setting for the animation of the sticky layer. So you can change that if you want. Very simple to do and very useful. So that's what a sticky layer does. You can see, again, we had no offset. It was the top left and there's the delay. But let's turn this off for a minute. Let's change this back to default and let's do it with another layer. What if you wanted the bottom to stick? Let's go down to the very bottom. And you'll remember we had a layer down here too. We're going to double click on it and turn this one into a sticky layer instead. So we change the mode to sticky layer. Only this time we're going to change the orientation. We want it to stick to the bottom left and we don't want any offset and we'll keep our 500 delay. So the only difference between this one and the other one was it's on the bottom and that's the orientation right here. I'll click OK and you'll be able to see when we press F5 to preview in a browser that this also has really cool implications. Notice that our footer is already showing that's because it has the same concept tied to it. It's going to stick to the bottom no matter where we scroll. So we go down like this. Our top layer went away because we took stickiness away and we put it on this one. No matter where the user goes, there's going to be a sticky layer showing with that same delay. You can see how practical this could be if you want to keep content in front of someone. By the way, you can make multiple sticky layers. Although you wouldn't probably do that normally, here's what that looks like. We'll leave that one. We'll go back up to the top. Let's turn this one also into a sticky layer. And we'll keep it at the top. Click OK. Here's what that looks like. You might find a good use for this. You can see it sort of creates a window that people can look through where there's content in two locations because again you can have multiple sticky layers. Now we've just worked with a sticky layer with with a top and a bottom but as you can see there are plenty of other settings you could work with. In fact let's mess with just a couple of them. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to a default no stickiness in other words click OK and then let's go back down and let's play with this bottom one. One of those was offset. All this means is you can decide how far from the edge the layer will stick. So just to make it clear, not that this will look good, but it'll give you an idea of what this does. I'm going to set this to 200. It will offset X. That's horizontal. We're going to click OK. And when we preview with an F5, 
you'll see that the layer is offset by 200 pixels. That's why it's way over here. That's not something I would want to do on this page, but there might be a time where you could use that offset. In this particular website, it's not going to look good to have that space. But anyway, that's what offset does. Let me show you something you might do though. This might be more common. Let's leave this at zero because that looks better up against the left edge. If I change the offset for Y, let's make that be about 200. Watch what happens. And this is really interesting because what you'll see is you can control the height at which it sticks. So it's up 200 pixels no matter what we do. Even though we have it from the bottom, we have it up several pixels. What's interesting about this particular feature is it's actually measuring the bottom of the browser window. So even if we change the height of the browser, you can see it still sticks to its position. It's very sticky. So just kind of a cool feature that you can use. Now you'd want to control that better than I did, but you can make it look like any way you want to. Sticky layers can be really, really practical. If you want to keep content in front of people and you want them to always have it no matter where they scroll, the sticky layer is the answer. It's just another great feature that you can use with a layer in 90 Second Website Builder.